A lot of people have sent me emails asking about this tool here. This is a valve spring compressor tool. It's used in a lot of four cycle engines like Briggs and Stratton and Tecumseh. I'm just going to do a brief demonstration today of how to use this tool. Here's the part number that's on there, 19063. You can do a search on eBay for valve spring compressor tool and this uh, tool should come up. So first of all, here's a few features of this tool. Now when you take apart an engine, you're going to notice that some of the springs are bigger than others. And that's why on this tool, if you loosen this screw here, it widens the gap here for the spring. So if your spring's smaller, you would just screw it in. You can see it's closing in there. And there's one for each side of the tool. And also this lever here is to open up the tool or close it in. So when it's time to put your valves in, you would put the spring in like that and then set your adjustments accordingly. So before you install the valve, you want to set the gap of these caps here that go on top of the spring to fit inside the tool. So I've got them set if you need to widen the gap, just loosen these two little screws here. If you need to bring it in, just tighten them. So if you want to make them fit into here, then you want to insert your spring. So loosen the handle if you need to open up the tool. Once you've got the gap expanded, just insert the spring and then tighten up the handle. and then compress the spring just like this and then it's ready to be inserted into the valve. Always remember that this part here goes at the bottom of the valve and that you have to insert the valve through this hole kind of like this and then with your tool you're just going to push over on the spring and then release unscrew the handle. So I'll insert it into the block. So you can start by putting your spring right here. Line it up with the valve. Insert the valve. Make a note of where this hole is because you want to insert the valve through this hole and then push the spring in. So now you can see I've got it locked in. So once you've got the valve lined up and everything, unscrew the handle on the tool, just like this. Just simply pull out like that and there your valve is installed properly. Now to remove the valve, just simply do the reverse of the installation. If you know the gap of the caps on the top and bottom of the spring, set your tool accordingly. Now different engines will have different gaps for the caps here. Now that you've got it set properly, just simply insert your tool. Make sure it's open enough, the gap. So you can grab the bottom of the spring and the top of the spring. Hopefully you can grab it above the caps. Just insert the tool like this. Now it's locked in. Now simply turn the lever to compress the spring. You want to compress it enough so you can remove the spring with the caps and unlock the valve just like this. Now you can simply just remove the valve. And now that you've got the valve removed and the spring with the caps, just simply unscrew this lever. You're gonna see the spring open up. 
just be careful sometimes these snap out and they go flying so I'm just going to keep my finger at the end of it make sure you keep the order that your spring came out for the top and the bottom it's always better to put it back just the way it came out and now if you need to replace the valve just do so or if you need to grind it down, you can do that as well.